little bit of frame drop here though. Okay, so this wall is tight. This wall is legit down here. Yeah, we got a turret. Defenses. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so this wall is set up nice. Okay, let's talk to Jake. Let's see what's happening. If you need fixing up, let's get a look at you. No, Doc, I'm actually fine. We'll see you later. I need some supplies, Doctor. I suppose I could spare some stim packs. What do you have? Do you have anything that's good? These, di these disease cures, I think, are going to come in handy later on. Bye, Doc. Ain't looking for trouble, I hope. So you're just living here now, or what? Wasn't there some guy named Peter? Why are you out here? Oh. Come on, muscles. Let's get you to bed. car yep no lay down don't be staring at me like that whatever okay let's go talk to Jake I don't have to outrun the ghouls Lou just have to outrun you Mala, what are you doing in the doorway? Get out of my way. Get the hell out of my face. Get out of my sight. Oh, you're like a dog. You're not allowed to come in the house. Got it. Oh, hello. <laughs> I just got a radio message from some gunner. What's all this about a settlement being attacked? Well, it was hard. Who told you? Who told you that? I don't think he told me his name. He seemed to know you, though. Said he'd already contacted you. Oh, yeah, that guy. What did you hear? The guy I spoke to said the gunners had started using the comm hub, tied it to their radio somehow. They said a squad was on its way to one of our settlements. Said you were off to stop it. So what happened? Uh, Freddy, I wasn't bullying the bot. I was trying to help him find his pathing. I was hoping maybe he'd come in. Because in Chapter 1, Jake had him as a, like a buddy. And he would just like walk around and do things. And you could talk to him. But he seems to be glitched out for Chapter 2. So I was, just, I was trying to reset his parameters. Does that make sense? That's legitimate, right? You've got nothing to worry about. What do you mean? Don't tell me you've already dealt with it. Smug? I don't want to be smug to Jake. He's been nice. Everything's taken care of. Oh, good. But I get the feeling this ain't the last we're going to hear from them. We can't keep letting the gunners use the comm hub like this. Ah, but we got no idea where they've stashed it. I do. I suppose for now, we'll just have to stay on high alert. Oh, and good work at that sim. And I hope you realize just how much I appreciate everything you do. That was it? Oh, no, no, no. I had to defend. Yeah, that's right. I had to defend Grey Garden. So that was actually... That was actually a pretty tough quest. Those guys are serious. Uh, anybody want to talk to me about anything? Hey. Hey, Lupe. Hi. Hi again. You want to talk? Uh, no, because you have nothing new to say. Not now. Let's talk later. Jake. <clears throat> oh, hey, darling. 
tell me. You ever used to come to places like this? You know, before you were frozen? Yeah, I used to come to Concord and do my shopping because we lived in a cul-de-sac up the road. I'm just visiting. <laughs> yeah, me too. Although, it does feel kind of weird standing... Uh, Lupe is Jake's... Almost as if the building itself is... Uh... Passing judgment friend? on something. Lupe... Okay, the backstory from the early part of Chapter 2 is that Lupe was with Jake and Aiden in Quincy with Preston and all of them and the Gunners. And when the Quincy massacre happened, it sounds like it, they went, it split three ways now. Garvey got screwed over and took everybody else and ended up here. Captain Rex got all uppity about himself and started wanting to take over the world. And Jake and a couple people didn't join any of them. They kind of went off on their own. So Lupe was an engineer with the original Minutemen slash Gunners in Quincy. She's been in hiding, but she heard some rumors. She came out of hiding. And we found her here in the basement in Concord trying to get the power back on. And now she's the one that's setting up the settlement and the defenses here in Concord. So Lupe is basically, I think, like the mayor of Concord. You're beating around the bush. Is there something you're trying to tell me? <laughs> no hiding anything from you, is there? Say, you recall way back when you came to my hardware store? Yes. Asking what else ACMs could do? I asked you a question in return. I asked why you were doing all this. ASAM, settlements, the whole thing. Do you remember what you told me? Oh, wait a minute. Yes, I did. I said I wanted to help people. You're welcome, Feather. Yes, I did. I did. I wanted to help people. That's what I said. Help people? That's right. I didn't know if you really meant that. And honestly, I didn't care. All I saw before me was someone useful. Someone who could help me towards my goals. Someone I could use. Use? Help you with what exactly? Despite what some might think, I'm no good at two <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Oh, sure, I'll go on and on about rebuilding the Commonwealth, bringing back civilization, but... Those are just means to an end. All of this, everything I've done, it's all been in the effort to bring my daughter back to Here me. we go. That's all I really cared about. But then, I met you. And suddenly, my actions were making a real difference in people's lives. Good and bad. And now with everything that's going on, the gunner attacks, losing the comm hub, I'm not so sure anymore. Oh, Jake. Don't be so hard on yourself. I understand how you feel. With all the respect in the world, I'm not so sure you do. What? Look, I'm trying, darling. <laughs> I really am. But this is more than I signed up for. I never expected to be taking on someone like the Gunners. I don't know if I have it in me to do this. I'm no savior of the Commonwealth. I'm not you. Should I just punch him right now? I'm like, suck it up, Jake. It's time to go. Pull yourself together. Yeah. Yeah, all right. I'm sorry. You didn't come all the way here just to hear me, bellyache. <laughs> What's up? You need my help with something? Play radio message, fine. Listen. Uh huh, that, that's a lot of interference. I wonder what's causing it. If you need me to clean up that signal, I reckon I can get it done. Follow me. Nice. It's good to see you. Lupe, we'll talk later. Where did he go? Where did Jake go? Oh, he's right there. 
Okay, follow Jake. Jake? Okay, oh. short stuff. I can take over again now. Thanks for watching the radio. Hey, I'm not that short. And are you sure? I can keep going for a few more hours. Yeah, it's all right. I got something I need to do anyway. So, shift that pie-sized keister of yours. Okay, if you say so. But if you keep it up with all this short stuff, I'll find a footstool so I can bop you on the nose. Okay, wait a minute. Were we supposed to... Was Jake supposed to walk to the church? Yeah, he was. Okay, because also in that dialogue... There was something about the church, but he didn't walk to the church. I'm going to get out of their way so I don't get in trouble here. All right, let's find that radio signal. Okay. Let's find the radio signal. Uh, here we are. Oh. Okay, going to try switching the receiver. Curie was in the way. Frequency. Signal might be weaker, but should have less interference. All right, think we got something. It's me, Aiden. I got news. I hate these weapons. Believe it or not, Algernon came through for us. We've been shadowing a squad of gunners. We think they may know where the comm hub is. But this gunner squad, they've been acting kind of odd, on edge. Like they're getting ready for something. Huh. Come meet us at Chestnut Hillock Reservoir. Don't be long. This has been a pre-recorded message. Chestnut message Hillock. Message repeats in three seconds. Well, how about that? Maybe Aiden is on our side after all. <laughs> I don't know if we trust Aiden yet. I don't. He follows me around. He told me where he told me where you were though. You should have more faith in him. I don't know. There's just something about him. Doesn't sit right with me. But it does sound like he's onto something with the hub. Maybe you should go check in with him. See what he's found. Just don't get your hopes up, all right? For all we know, his lead might be a dud. Or he's just messing with us. You never tell with a guy like him. <clears throat> I want to ask you about the church. Hi. Not you, Lupe. Why did he... Why did it... Why were we supposed to go to the church? Uh, Mila, Mala, Mala, whatever your name is. What was in the church? Oh! <gasps> Blessed Fathers. Blessed Father. So the Blessed Father's light spoke through to the humbled man and said, what would he say? Hmm? Oh, hello. My apologies. I seem to have lost track of where I was. I don't believe the two of us have formerly met. My name is Edmund Callum. Did he just say f formerly met or formally met? Okay, so here's the thing. We missed the dialogue that supposedly he and Jake had. Because we asked him about the church. This your chapel here, Pastor? Yes, this chapel is mine in a sense. Though it is open to all who would have need of it, including myself. Do you have need? What was that before? What did you say? Ah, apologies. You stumbled upon me while I was reciting one of my sermons. Oh. Tell me, are you a religious sort? Uh... No. No, not really. That's a shame. I think you'd find something good here. Maybe something to ease the burdens you carry. I hold a number of sermons occasionally. Why don't you stop by sometime, and we can discuss more then. But before I let you go, Jake says you're the one to go to when things need doing, so to speak. I don't like running errands. No, no, <laughs> nothing like that. I just wanted to officially touch base, since you're the de facto leader around here, even if you may not like to admit it. Side eye. Oh, I'm going to give him side eye. Go on. Well, you see, I've been walking the wasteland for a long time now. 
I've done my best to spread the gospel of the Blessed Father. The Blessed I Father. I the problems of the people, and I try to help as many as I can. It has earned me a number of grateful souls I consider to be my flock. I have heard more confessions than you can imagine. I can tell you, I've seen a whole lot of places. There aren't too many you can find out there much safer than here. The efforts of you and the folks around is pretty darn unprecedented, to put it mildly. Huh. Like, I don't know. We're not really into preachers. What's your deal? What's your deal? Oh, my background is not important, my child. My story begins, as it does for so many, when I found the word of the Blessed Father. The man I was before just wasn't cutting it. Finding the Bible, spreading his message, it changed my life and the lives of countless others. Okay. The Lord made me an offer I could not refuse. Once it becomes known amongst my flock that I have found a safe church here in which to hold my sermons, many of them will most likely make their way here as well. Okay. Huh. I'll keep an eye out. Please do. It will be for the betterment of us all, Lord willing. One last thing. I was wondering if there was a place you all used to dispose of corpses. <laughs> oh, no. Like a graveyard. I didn't notice one around. Okay, fair when enough. folks die of sickness and other things, they tend to come to the pastor if there's one around, at least from my experience. What was that about people getting sick? The wasteland is a harsh and dangerous place, my child. No, duh. If it isn't raiders or super... What? Okay, so... I just ended up dumping a body in a burnt-out truck. And this guy shows up and says, hey, how about we not dump dead bodies and burn out old trucks? How about we put them in the ground? <laughs> this reduces happiness penalties and the chance of disease outbreaks from the dead. <gasps> okay, here it is. Here it is. Here's the mechanic that is added in Chapter 2. If there are corpses or dead bodies laying around your settlement, it will not only reduce the settlement happiness, it will also provide a chance of a disease outbreak. And then they also scrap them and like pull their guns and stuff off of them. Okay. Okay. I like it. Because think about it. How many times when you're playing this game have you done what I did just a little bit ago? is that you take a dead body that's laying on the ground and you pick it up and you drag it across the map and like dump it outside your door. Oh my God, this is awesome. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Does this mean that at some point Concord is going to become a workshop? It's, it's radiation and red scorpions. <laughs> with the limited medical supplies that may happen to be lying about it's just as easy to get a disease from drinking water as it is from a morag bite absolutely it's a good thing to think about these sorts of things is all i'm saying you are correct you should be open-minded about the commonwealth it has its dangers but it's got a lot to offer don't get me wrong i most certainly agree it never hurts however to be prepared but it is refreshing to see a hopeful view once in a while. You really should come by sometimes and catch a sermon or two. Even if you aren't a believer, I'm sure you will find something of use out of it. And if you don't mind me being a little selfish, it would be a great thing for my flock. Their courage will grow by wonders to see someone out there making a difference, one way or the other. And perhaps you can lend a helping hand or two as well. It won't go unnoticed. I will keep you no longer. Go free, my child. Thanks, Pastor. Okay. Huh. Check out the community board. Oh, uh, I wonder if that's going to be maybe like little radiant quests to raise uh, happiness or whatever. 